I'm trying to figure out another way to start a video without saying hi guys welcome to my YouTube channel <laughs> there's no other way maybe bonjour <laughs> no <laughs> hello <laughs> hi guys welcome to my YouTube channel that's that's the best I can offer. My name is Janine, also known as Lola. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to do a haul. So I want to start this video off by acknowledging that we're all in quarantine. You know trying to weather out this storm and one of my fondest memories that I'm clinging on to was a couple weeks ago when I was in I did a little mini Euro tour with my fiance we went from well we started in Africa we went to Ghana um, then went straight to Rome and spent a few days there then went to London and spent a few days there and then ended it off in the Bahamas so that trip was a magical. I had so much fun. And now that we're in quarantine, I'm, like I said, I'm clinging to the memories. Um, and I've been watching a lot of YouTube to help the time pass. I mean, I do work. I am a healthcare worker, so I'm not home all the time. But when I am home, just to get my mind off of things, I like to watch YouTube. And I love, I've discovered, I love to watch hauls. I've been watching so many hauls, and it really... Um, inspired me to do one of my own. I always wanted to do one, but in particular, lately, um, I felt that it might be a good way to honor those couple weeks we had of normalcy um, in Europe, especially in the places I went, which are being hit pretty hard right now, um, by just looking back at some better memories and, you know, kind of celebrating the time that I had there. So, with that being said, I want to jump into my haul. This is like a mixed bag of places and things and stuff. Um, a little bit of designer, a little bit of Zara, a little bit of just everything. Shoes, bags, clothes, what have you. Um, so I'm so excited. Let's do it. Okay. I don't know where to start, so I'll go in chronological order. Um, so like I said, we started, I didn't really do too much shopping in Ghana. That's where we really started. But once we got to Rome, so we'll start there. So I think the first uh, place that we went, oh, I have to look it up. How am I going to pronounce this? Via Kondati? 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 That sound is my ice maker. Ignore. Via Kondati. Kondati. Kandati <laughs> is where we started off our shopping adventure. We were really um, sightseeing and we went to see the Spanish Steps. We walked there from our hotel. We stayed at the St. Regis, which was amazing. Um, so good. Hopefully I can insert some videos throughout uh, this haul of our time in Italy. But we walked to the Spanish Steps and I really didn't do my research, my Googles ahead of time. But... Um, Lo and behold, we get down to the bottom of the steps and it's like, Chanel, Dior, Gucci. And I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, so the first store we went to was Gucci. So this is what I got. I just got two things um, that I had wanted for a while, but either, you know, sometimes they're hard to find, as we know, with everything. So that's the bag. Um, and the first item was kind of unexpected it is well i'll unbox it for you it's not really a true unboxing because if you see my instagram i wore it already um but it is a scarf and i already had this scarf i bought it um earlier this year in the bahamas in a pink and blue color um which you know maybe i'll insert a picture of me trying it on but when I saw this in the store, I just knew like I had to have it because I wear so much beige and brown and it's just the perfect thing. It's super warm. 
Um, I don't ask me what it's made of and all that. I mean, I could read it to you, but this is not that kind of haul. I am no expert. It's soft and beautiful, and it went with a lot of things that I have packed as part of my wardrobe. So I got it. Um, as far as prices, oh man, I want to say this is about 300 or 400 euro. Um, yeah, euro. Um, if it's not, I'll correct myself here. Um, so that was the first thing. And then this was the second thing. I, like I said, I've already unboxed some of this stuff, so it's just literally in the box. It's not, it's not nicely wrapped and everything. But essentially what I got is the mini, I think this is called a Dionysus, Dionysus um, bag. I love mini bags. I have this one in like the, the burgundy um, suede version. I got that one in... Paris about a year ago and I love it I wear it everywhere I have the Princeton's that match it and it's like my go-to so I knew I wanted this one and it's funny because the sales lady was like do you want the bigger one do you want the bigger one and I was like no I want this size because it's perfect um, spacious I put my card holder in there I don't put my phone in my bag because it doesn't last in my bag for more than a few seconds anyway so I just hold it in my hand, but it fits my card holder, it fits my keys and a lipstick. I mean, girls, what the hell else do you really need? Love it. So um, that was that was that day. Um, my fiance bought some stuff as well um, in in Dior home home home. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that was it for me. Um, from there. We went to Dior. <laughs> so here's what I got. First, I started, I went in there to look at the book tote. I thought I was going to buy a book tote. I didn't because I had already bought a book tote, which hopefully I'll unbox for you guys soon. Because um, I myself haven't really unboxed it. But I had bought one before, um, during the holiday season, before I left you know back then and there were obviously new colors and I thought I wanted another one and maybe the smaller size but I saw the smaller size and I was like this is oh, that's rude <laughs> I was like I didn't I just didn't didn't need it but I did want um you know something in the saddle trend so what I decided on was this I mean I, I really wish I, I knew the name of it for you guys but I don't I mean Googles. I'll put it in the... Oh, I always wanted to say that. I'll put it in the description box. <laughs> this is what I got. It's the Dior saddle waist bag, maybe. That's what it is. Um, and it's in the oblique print. It's really simple and cute. Um, I did see the bigger saddle bags, but I didn't really want them. I was look. I went looking for another style of waist bag and then I saw this one and I fell in love with it so it's really spacious again what do you need you need your credit card and your keys and some lipstick girls that's what it looks like it's just canvas throughout um, it has this really cool belt which I like which has the C CD um, belt closure so I suppose if you wanted to you could take this off and wear just wear this as a belt um, another thing that really sold me is that this bag also has little handles, uh, little loops for a handle if you wanted to attach one of the straps, which I'm, I plan on doing. Um, straps themselves are like $1,000 and up, so I didn't buy one at the time, but I'm going to go ahead and look for one soon because that's just, I think that's awesome that you can wear it two ways. And that's my bag. And then... I got these sandals to go with them. So these are nothing new. I'm sure you've all seen them already, but I love them. They're so cute, so simple. Um, they go with this bag and my book tote. Sneak peek coming soon. Um, they're really simple and they're classic 
you know, you could wear them with anything. So had to pick those up. And that was it from Dior. Um, prices. The the bag I think was about thir I want to say thirteen hundred euro, and I don't know the conversion is like one point one two five I think at the time, and the shoes were um, five five fifty euro. So I know they always say shopping in Europe is cheaper with designer, and I'm here to tell you it is because. Um, a, the, even with the conversion, it's like it was slightly cheaper, and then we saved on duty free. And it's really cool at this location because right across the street there's a Global Blue, which is a uh, the agency that helps you get your tax refund for um, those folks that are going to be leaving Europe with their goods. And we were able to just go right across the street and provide the receipts and. Uh, they actually gave us our refund in cash right then and there. You have the option, you can get it sent back to your credit card if you want, or you can get the cash, which I think is cool because then you can just go out and buy more, which is what I did. <laughs> um, so we did that. Just make sure you have a credit card with you because they put a balance on your card in the amount that they gave you in cash. Just as a guarantee that uh, you are leaving the country if you don't and you don't get the custom stamp on your receipt at the airport, they'll charge your card for the cash they gave you. But I think that was really convenient and a really nice, um, a really nice thing. All right, let's take a drink break. <laughs> No, I'm lying. That wasn't it for Rome. So, so that was the day we spent in the city, the old city of Rome. Um, a couple days later, then the next couple days, we just did some sightseeing. But then um, we arranged a car to take us to Florence, more like the Tuscany area, because I had read about a designer outlet um, mall, literally called the mall. <laughs> Um, and I wanted to go check it out and you know my fiance he's like oh you want to do uh, outlet shopping sure <laughs> so we uh, woke up super early we met our driver at like 7 in the morning they were so fantastic I'll put the name of the tour group that arranged it for us it was a private transfer they drove us two hours through the beautiful Tuscan um, mountainside and we got to see all of these beautiful little towns on the way there. Um, but they took us to the mall and it was, girl, girl, <laughs> it was so good. So um, of course it just so happens that I just wasn't feeling great that day, but I still managed to do quite a bit of damage. Um, but if I had more time, the other thing is, you book the tour for like a fixed amount of time so they you arrive around 10 30 a.m and then you leave around four and you that sounds like a lot of time until you get in there and you spend three hours in gucci alone and you're like so the first store that we started in was gucci and gucci has a huge um massive store there it's like it's humongous. They have everything, everything. Um, so I'll show. I'll start with what I bought there, um, which I have here. I'll start with this small thing, and this is also literally the first thing that I bought walking in the door. Um, and look, it's in this cute little box. It is a card holder. So cute, or wallet? I don't know. I don't know so cute in this beautiful vibrant pink color it's got this like floral design so pretty it opens up when you open it up it is a card holder and a coin purse um and then of course it's also a wallet on this side so i guess it's everything i mean i don't know what to call this i've, I've called it a card holder i've called it a wallet i've called it a coin purse <laughs> it's everything you could ever want um it's so cute and the reason 
I bought this was because I have this bag. I don't know what it's called, so please don't ask me. Um, but it's clear. Google Claire Gucci bag, you'll find it. It's clear, and I'm always, I love the aesthetic of a Claire bag, but they look funky when you just throw stuff in there. It just looks like a jumble of stuff. So I really bought this exclusively to put in here. Um, again, girls, wallet <laughs> or card holder, um, lipstick, and keys is all you need. And look how cute that is. Once it's in there, I can put all my credit cards and my money, um, stick a little lipstick in there. And then this bag, I know this haul is not about this bag, but it also comes with this little keychain in there. So you, you attach your keys and you're good to go. So... That's really why I bought this. I love it. I think it is the cutest little thing. And I paid, you ready for this? Like 110 or maybe 120 maximum euro for this. Come on, you can't beat that. Okay, so that's that. Another um, really awesome buy that I found. Oh, this one has a name. It's called a portfolio. <laughs> I don't know, it's all abbreviated, but I'll, I'll Google it and put it in the description box. This I think is so cool. It's like, for me at least, it's, a, it's called a portfolio, but it's a big clutch. <laughs> That's how I plan on wearing it. It's in the Gucci diamond print. Um, Again, this is not, it's an outlet, so this stuff is not like the most current season, like fresh off the runway. Maybe it's fresh off of last season's runway, but I don't care about that. I love it anyway. Um, so cool. It has a zip top, zip top, and it also has this cool handle at the back, so if you wanted to carry it like that, that's cool. If you wanted to carry it clutch style, that's cool. It's really spacious so for my girls that need more than their card holder and their lipstick throw your whole house in there girl go ham um oh how cute it has like a pink gucci uh, i don't know if you could see that pink gucci uh label inside and of course it comes with all the usual stuff um this i paid maybe three or four hundred euro for um, and I'm not giving you exact prices and I'm sorry about that but really the point is for you to understand how steep the discounts were without having like the exact number so hopefully you're getting some value out of that totally worth a visit I mean you can get an entire Gucci bag for under 400 euro and a wallet come on um, okay next this one it's another bag, but it is so special. And uh, while I'm touching this box, if you're wondering, well, how come I have all the boxes? Yes, I keep all of my packaging. I am a master packer. I pack all of the suitcases for my fiance and I. I traveled, I don't know if I should be admitting this. <laughs> I traveled with two suitcases and one of the suitcases had a suitcase inside of it. So I knew that I was gonna be shopping and buying things and I know that I like to keep my packaging so I always try to do that like put one the smaller suitcase inside of another and that way when I get there and I shop I can unpack them and that then I have a carry-on and two large size size suitcases so I can keep all my stuff um, maybe I'll do another video one day of how <laughs> I make it work. I mean, it's not difficult. I literally just collapse. I take the covers off and put, you know, one small box inside of a bigger box inside of a bigger box and then pack my clothes inside of those. It's like, it's an art. Um, maybe I'll set up a class. I don't know. Anyway, this bag is just so special to me. And thank you to the salesperson that helped me to find it because I had actually picked up a different version. I picked this up in the blue um, suede and I was going to purchase that one and the salesperson was like, I have a python for you. I was like, what? And um, you know, I'm always a little conflicted about, you know, whether it's the right thing to do to buy, 
you know, exotic skins, but you know, every bag I bought is, is an animal skin and it's my best friend calling. Call you back, babe. Um, yeah, so I just saw it. I thought it was beautiful and I don't really have a lot of exotic skins, so I figured I'd have one and complete my collection there. Um, so this is it. It's a burgundy snake skin. It has this ref this really reflective crystal G on the front of it and a rope chain um, handle. This one's a lot more spacious than the other minis that I've been showing you. Um, it's all leather on the inside, lots of space. I mean, here's my phone that keeps being rude and going off, but it fits in there. It's an 11 something XR. Um, you know, you can fit whatever you want. It's beautiful. And I, I look at it like a collector's item and I want to keep it forever. And I'm so happy that I came across this. Okay. So that's it for bags or purses and things like that. Um, they did have a lot of, like I said, it's not the most current season, but they had, had a lot of like the Marmot collection, which is pretty, it's still pretty relevant um, in, in different colors, but I already have a lot of that. So I just looked for things that were really unique and different. Um, and that's why I chose those. So then I bought a couple pairs of shoes, which I also love. Um, this first one, it doesn't say, so I'll just show it to you. So this first one is the reason why I had picked up the blue velvet uh, bag that I was telling you about that I replaced with the python. It's because I found this shoe. And to be honest, I'm kind of kicking myself for not getting both, but hey, what are you going to do? Um, and this is just like the perfect shoe for me. I'm a high heels girl, don't get me wrong. 99% of my shoes are high heels. Um, but when I do a flat or a really low heel, I do like, I bling me out, please. Make it velvet, add a bow, thank you, yep. <laughs> so I bought this, you know, for the easy breezy days where I just wanna throw on a pair of jeans and a t-shirt and jazz up my outfit with a little something. Um, and I love it love them. Next, I bought one more pair of shoes and I'll be right back. So next I bought another pair of shoes and these are kind of in the same vein as the last ones. They are, and first of all, how cool is this packaging? Um, I forget what, I don't know what this collection was or when it came out, but I do remember it. Um, I just thought the box was cool. Um, and the dust bags too. So next are these. Um, I mentioned earlier I have the Princeton uh, loafers that are in like a burgundy, the same exact feel, but burgundy and they match with the mini Dionysus bag that I have. So I went looking for another pair of those. They didn't really have them, but they did have these, which bonus, bling blow. <laughs> They had a little sparkle on them, so I was like, of course, sign me up, throw it in the bag. Um, but they're really cute. I've worn these already, so that's why the bottom is a little um, worn. They have a really cool pink um, satin inside, and they're just the perfect shoe to, you know, throw on and run some quick errands and still be a little bit cute. <laughs> All right, so, oh, you know what? I also bought some stuff for my son while I was there. Um, I have these nearby, so I'll show them to you. So cute, so simple. Um, I know these look huge, and I said it's for my son. My son is only 11, he has huge feet. He wears, um, I believe these are a size 40, so, in men's, so. That's why they're so big. It's not, I don't have a 30 year old son. <laughs> but yeah, they're really cute. These were only about 140 euro, which is, you know, reasonable for a pair of Gucci slides, which he happens to like a lot. And the last ones that I bought him were like 300 and something dollars. So if you 
put it in, into perspective, it's a pretty good price. Um, oh, and the prices for the shoes, they were both around 200 euro each. Again, you can't beat that. Where can you get a pair of Gucci uh, shoes for two, between two and three hundred dollars? It's not easy to find. Okay, so next, um, we're done with Gucci. Next, we went to Versace. And, oh, I'm sorry, Versace. Wait. And I got uh, a couple really cute things. Mostly what I got at Versace is uh, more slides, both from my son and my brothers. They had a sale going on. I ended up getting um, all of the men in my life slides for like a hundred euro. I don't have, my son is wearing his now, so I don't have him to show you. If I can find a picture, I'll pop up what it looks like, but really good deal. Um, so for myself, I bought these, which I love. They're so cute. They are blue and yellow. They say Versace around all over. Um, they have a little Medusa at the bottom. And so cute. Um, these were also a really good deal. I think I paid around 200 or 250, 250 euro for these. Um, and you really can't beat that. I'm not sure what the original price on them was oh they the original price was 690 euro so again you really can't beat that I'm not sure if you guys can see it and then on top of that the the outlet price is 420 euros so they I guess they had like 50 percent off of that good deal really good deal I also got unfortunately these this was the only thing that I couldn't bring back in the original packaging because obviously they were in a box that was yay high um, and I just wasn't willing to give up that much real estate in my suitcase. But I got these thigh high uh, boots which are so cute. They have the Medusa heads all around the ankle. They are the most soft plush leather. Um, nice solid chunky heel and just totally perfect and I, I wanted these because they go with my palazzo bag um, which is this in the same similar leather also with the black um, Medusa head and I just can't wait to wear this combo I haven't yet because you know Corona <laughs> but soon <laughs> but these are awesome these are also a really good deal Gosh, I can't really remember exactly how much, but I would say definitely around under 500 euro. Um, and where are you going to get a pair of brand new Versace boots for that? Nowhere. Okay, so for the mall, um, I have one more thing. We went to the Balenciaga store, and um, you know, if I could find them somewhere in this sea. Uh, that would be nice. We went to the Balenciaga store and I was able to find these boots that I've wanted for so long. So again, if you've seen, I literally wore them a few days later while I was still while we were still traveling. Um, if you see my Instagram, you've seen them too. Came in this box. And yes, I this giant box I was able to bring back because if you think about it. Look how big it is. This can hold like four other boxes inside. Duh. <laughs> but here are the boots. I'm sure there's a name for these and I'm also sure that I don't know it so I'll do better next time. But they are these cut out um, combat style boots with all the gold hardware and buckles. They are so cute and so comfortable. I really wanted I really needed these, I should say, because when I packed for this trip, I envisioned myself in heels every day and, you know, cobblestone and yeah, it just, it didn't happen that way. It wasn't working out. So I ended up getting these and wore them almost immediately the next day. Um, so good, so heavy. Oh my God, they're super heavy. I did end up getting them slightly bigger. Um, I got them in a, a size 40 and I usually wear like 39 and a half, but it's the best decision I ever made. 
because I have like not a single complaint while wearing these. I wore them with a pair of like lace socks, so it looks really cute. And I love them. I love them. I think every girl needs, you know, her own version of a combat boot. And these are mine. So that was it for me. Um, surprisingly, my fiance did a lot, a lot of shopping at the mall. He was loving it. Um, and I also bought a lot of gifts. You know, I bought a lot of stuff from my parents at Burberry. My fiance loves Burberry. It's just practically all he wears. So he got a ton of stuff as well. We went to the Hugo Boss store. He loves, um, that's probably his favorite, you know, normal day-to-day -day wear designer. Um, we checked out Givenchy. There re really wasn't anything that was too exciting for me personally there. I saw the jaw sneakers. Um, but you know, I, ha I haven't been really motivated to buy those quite yet. So, overall, it was amazing. There was a, also a Saint Laurent store. They had amazing shoes, but like practically nothing in my size. And that's my favorite shoe designer. So the fact that I didn't get anything there is wild. Um, you know, just about every major uh, McQueen, they had a McQueen store. We ran, ran out of time. Another thing that took up quite a bit of our time that I wish I probably hadn't done there was um, they also have a duty-free lounge where you can go and like immediately after you shop, bring your receipts and they'll give you your tax allotment and your VAT back. So we did that. There was a line. There was a wait. You know, probably ate up an hour of our trip. We had lunch. That probably ate up another hour. So, if, you know, once you put it all into perspective, it's, it's not as much time. The tour that we booked, which was, again, 10.30. Can you hear that? Ugh, oh, so annoying. It's motorcycle, sorry. Anyway, the tour that we booked seems like a lot of time, but then you know you add these things in and it, and it minimizes. I want to also mention that there is a huge Prada um, outlet. I bought a couple gifts for my mom, which I don't have them with, with me, for crazy amazing deals. I got sunglasses for like 100 euro for her. Um, I got her a pair of shoes that were like 200 euro so really good stuff and my fiance likes their polo shirts and ready to wear so he got a couple things too they're not really my style um, as you can probably see <laughs> but they had really good things if if you are into it okay moving on because i know this video is getting a little bit long but uh that was pretty much it for our shopping in rome i think we did pretty well <laughs> Um, next stop was London and we really didn't, London was like the relaxation leg of our trip. So we stayed at the Rosewood and it was so good, it was beautiful, they have an amazing spa. We really just kind of did some winding down but we did pick up a couple little things. So first I'd like to share this. So we went to um, Selfridges and just kind of looking around and I couldn't help but notice that there was a new Tom Ford fragrance. I love Tom Ford. I've been collecting them for um, his fragrances for a while. And the new one was Rose Frick. So I picked up one of those uh, from their beauty department downstairs and I haven't even opened it yet. Um, so I will one of these days, but it smells amazing. I love Rose. That's like one of my favorite scents in general. So if you are like me, you might want to check it out. I also picked up this one, um, which is Soleil Blanc, Blanc, Soleil Blanc, Soleil Blanc. <laughs> um, this one I did open and I love that it comes in this beautiful white bottle. Um, smells really good. Check it out. I love it. And then I also picked up this Car Carolina Herrera um fragrance called bad boy Ooh. so i'm gonna open this and show it to you because i love the bottle and one other one of these um it's the red bottle i'm not even sure what the name is but this one you know what this is not even the right this is my this is my fiance's i was gonna like go with it but this is not mine mine is a black high heel shoe and he bought this one and somehow he still has mine and I still have his. I don't even know. So, 
scratch everything I said. I smelt it, I was like, that smells masculine. And I don't remember it being a lightning rod. I thought it was a shoe like my other one. And put two and two together and go figure. Anyway, just forget that one. Still smells good. All right, aside from that, um, we stopped at Prada and I picked up two little things that I am like so obsessed with. So I'll start with this one. First of all, so my camera hated on me and died halfway through that video. And it was also getting to be kind of long. So I figured I would cut it up into two parts. So this is the editing version of me here to tell you thank you. If you made it this far, join the club. Like, subscribe, do notifications, do the whole thing, please. Um, also, tune in for part two. I'm going to finish up the things that I bought at Selfridges in London and move on to a quick spring-summer Zara haul that I did. And it's going to be good. It's going to be fun. And now I can, like, say I published my first video. So thank you so much for taking this journey with me. And I'll see you for part two.